Hey my tribe, welcome back once again to our channel. This message is timeless. If you're here, it's because there's something for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Please like, subscribe, and share, and check out the links in the about section of our page if you'd like to support us and help us to combat world hunger as 10% of all sales and donations are given to charities monthly. Food-based charities. It's one specific charity, but I don't want to mention their name because I don't have permission to consistently do so. Um... Anyway, I chose today to use the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck by Amanda Loveless and Janina Medeiros, of course, no stranger to this channel. Oh, I still got my dragon crystals here, but let's leave it. Let's go with it. Um, just because I, over the years, have become very close, of course, with my intrinsic gifts, still learning and sharing with you guys as I do. Um, and of course that's the purpose of my channel, but I just wanted to take a moment, especially with this crown on top of this deck here to just talk about, you know, I know I talk about the queen a lot and of course she's passed away and I respect her soul, um, respect her as a human being, one of God's, you know, miracles of life on this planet. But at the same time, I just want to take a moment to remind everyone that, you know, our history if we look through it, I mean, I am a historian, I have a master's degree in history, I'm classically trained, our history does not show a lot of, especially from the colonial perspective, from, you know, the British monarchy's rule really forward, um, our history doesn't show a lot of the cultivation of our magic and our intrinsic gifts. There was a time before, you know, the monarchy where especially um, the Druids, Celtics, but, you know, there were a lot of African, Caribbean, um, really Native American throughout the world. Most, um, you know, tribal people, indigenous people had a connection to spirit that it seems like we, through generations of conditioning, have been manipulated away from. So when I say believe in your own magic, that's sort of what I mean, and I'm glad I was able to kind of verbalize that. I hope, you know, this video gets a lot of views, um, and you kind of understand, because I feel like it's sort of sprinkled in here and there in these five-minute videos that I do. But yeah, your magic is inside of you, whether or not you have connected to it, it's there. And um, I'm just honored to be the person who is able to um, point that out for a lot of people. And share what it's done for me and um, how I was able to get there. But let's see. What's this message from the universe from the Believe in Your Own Oracle deck that we have going for us today? What is this? Homeland. Take yourself out on a date. All right. I'll put this down. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, number 42, Homeland. Take yourself out on a date. Oh, not Homeland, Homeward. Like Homeward Bound, thinking of the little dogs. All right, little dogs and cats on a mission. <laughs> Slow down. It's time to press pause and contemplate before the next leg of your journey. It's in these solitary, introspective moments where we learn the most interesting and eye-opening things about ourselves. Take yourself out on a date of sorts. Even if it's just a quiet and cozy night at home, enjoy your own company. Yeah, I mean, I, before I got married and even sometimes now, like I used to do concerts by myself a lot. Um, to me, there's nothing better than just, you know, getting off work, winding down from the day, taking a nice shower, and sometimes just enjoying a quiet evening, being thankful and grateful for the four walls and roof around me, the little hot box, my oven not having to, you know, go out into nature and find food that may have the illusion of feeling scarce, you know, th these sort of things, just, and grateful and thankful, of course, always for the vision, the vision to see through my third eye as well as my two eyes. All right, everybody, take care.